Hello and welcome to Dark Souls Part 34. 3. It's 33. Ignore me. I'm being stupid. We are going to finish off Isolith. This is going to be like a 25 minute video. I just wanted it done so we can be we can be awesome and finish it. Uh, sorry if you can hear my computer in the background. Uh, I'm sitting on the other side of the fucking room and it's still being loud. But soon I'm getting upgraded my computer so that will not be a problem anymore. Like four year old fans being ourselves. Right, we've opened up the shortcut so now we can just skip a huge area and make our way. Well, we're still in the demon ruins. We've got to finish, fight one more boss to get out of the demon ruins. Uh, we will summon Tavis to help us. If you do not know who that is, it's actually Solaire. It's just I needed a friend. <laughs> I, sent, I sent that back up in case I died. Um, but. I shouldn't. There's another bonfire. Uh, I'm being stupid. Didn't need to run all this way back down here, but I do. You can just run and jump off the edge. Take a tiny bit of damage, but it don't matter. Uh, but I can just run past all of these guys. Until that douchebag trapped me. What a douche. Look at him. What is his life? It's a freaking statuette of a of beast dragon. <laughs> that is his curse. Unless they're demons, they might just be demons. There's a good chance they're just demons and look like they're made of stone. But, you know. So, down here is the way into the rest. The rest of the... It's, it's a hallway. It's a hallway with a lava, lava pit. Uh, <laughs> that's all it is. There's the next bonfire. I did not remember it being here. Uh, the other path, like this, I said before, you can get a bug hat. It's outside the room to the uh, demon fire sage. Uh, you can get a bug hat that light stuff up. Never got it though. I had like 10 humanity in the gold serpent ring and it never freaking dropped. It would drive me insane. <laughs> Literally hurt. So the boss we're coming up to is the lava centipede. So it's lava centipede. It's a centipede of some, type, some kind. It's not even a centipede. It's got three heads and a tail. And it has a ring that will allow you to walk in lava. Which unlike any other boss in this game... You can get during the fight. Uh, it's in the center of his stomach. I'll show you. And we can get that. Yeah, Solaire. Oh, Solaire, you're so cool. We can just hang out. <laughs> just bro hug. I think he has a thing for me. He thinks I have a thing for him. It's fine. Can you tell by the floor that things are about to be horrible? Uh, as in the last video, I already said, you can see this boss pretty early on. Um, I showed you where it is. He's just chilling on a wall. This is under the stairs we went to, so look, he is up here. There he is. Ah, oh, isn't he nice and terrifying? I guess he is a centipede, but he still has like multiple heads and legs, like two big legs. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think there. I think there's these things called leapers. I think they're called in the next area. I th they're just. I think they're just the centipedes without just the legs. They might be. They could be. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, this fight, pretty hard. Stay over here at first, because... And I'd always recommend having Solaire with you, because he can just take hits, and the centipede seems to just not like Solaire. It will own him. It won't own him, it will just kick the shit out of him. Uh, each of their heads, it can be cut off like the Hydra, but the heads will keep on attacking you, even when you've cut them off. Uh, <laughs> they will still do damage to you, even if they are off, so be careful. But you should be there, big glowy thing in the center of his chest. Uh, if you can hit that, you will get the ring during the fight. Which is extremely useful because... Oh god, look at that, Christ! Extremely useful because you can then walk in lava and actually bring the fight to him. Instead of chilling there, got it. Uh, I then went, Slayer, take some hits for me, dude. I'm just going to change my clothes. <laughs> and just equip the ring. Doesn't, it's just kicking the crap out of Slayer in the back. I've missed, there you go. So now I can walk in lava and I take hardly any damage. Not that I showed you you take much damage anyway, but you will pretty much die in a couple of seconds in lava. I just never managed to show you that. Um, when you cut off, as I said, when you cut off a head or his tail, it keeps moving because each one has their own like centipede bodies. It's, it's really gross. It's, it's just... <laughs> Poor Tavis. He's cool though. He doesn't mind it. He's just getting beat the crap out of. Uh, his attacks essentially just biting at you and stomping. It's got lava attacks. He hasn't got. He can't like throw la uh, lava at you or anything. Look, I'm just running through lava. I'm just a boss. I'm just a super boss. And so will Solaire. Look at him. He doesn't care. You just take that. He's a sun guy, I guess. 
<laughs> that doesn't make sense. I just wanted to make sense. Uh, there's no strat. I guess the strategy just take off its heads and then kill it immediately. Just attack, attack it, and kill it. Because uh, once it's got no heads, all it have is feet to stomp you with. But it also means you've got left to hit, so. I don't know, I couldn't tell you a great strategy. Use the wiki. <laughs> That's the strategy. Just use the wiki. It's not a hard fight. It's one of the. It's pretty fun. I can tell you that. And it's just not difficult. Especially when you have Solaire. It's like. Buddies attacking a giant centipede. He's a pretty cool. He's a pretty awesome design as well. I'm pretty sure he's. I have. I do have this. The collector's edition. What essentially was exactly the same price. Oh, he's dead. That's a shame. But he essentially. Uh, I got the collector's edition. It was exactly the same price. It made. It was just in a card box and gave me an art book and a CD. Uh, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's got his concept art in there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I was thinking what to do. Trying to remember where the actual path is because the first time I played this. I walked around for freaking ages trying to find this hole. I didn't know this was here. It took, I left this area and walked around the demon rooms for so long looking for it. But, you know. Then I got pretty worried because I saw that damage thing and Solaire's over here. I was pretty... I was so scared. I don't want to fight Solaire. I just want to make sure he's fine. I don't want to have to kill Tavis. Uh, <laughs> I don't want that to be a thing. I don't... I don't want to kill him. We're bros. We're so with buddies. I don't want to hurt him. But he's, he's fine. He hasn't turned. He hasn't gone hollow. There is another location I think where his storyline goes and he will turn hollow I'm pretty sure. Uh, hopefully we'll not have to see that. I, I don't I don't want that to happen. I don't. So now we're in essentially Isolith. We've done it. We've travelled the distance. Uh, it's lava and leapers. And I'm pre I've never thought of this until right now, but I think the leap is essentially the centipede without the centipede parts. I think it's just the centipede legs. Um, what well, would make sense, maybe, if it's like failed experiments. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it would be pretty cool. I'm just leveling up and kindling because I know what's going to happen. I know that this isn't going to go well. Uh, Islip itself isn't hard. Uh, it's just the bed of chaos is the most bullshit boss in this game. I was just checking on him again. I want to make sure he's alright. Uh, the, the better chaos is the most bullshit boss in this game. For multiple reasons, like... Um, having to run back there when you die. Uh, you have to run a lot. You have to run for essentially the whole of Islyph to get back to the boss. And it involves swapping rings around. And it's just... It's just fucking... If I hadn't... If I hadn't edited this, if I was a standard crappy person on YouTube... <laughs> I hate a lot of people on YouTube. Uh, if I had just put this up one on stream, this video would be like 40 minutes, I think, with me running back to the boss. It's just not a nice fight. Leapers, there he is. I think it is the centipede. Just the legs. It's like the dragon in the painted world. It's just a pair of legs. They are super tough. Don't fight them. You don't need to. If you do not distract them, if you do not piss them off, they will never fight you. So, just just run. I was kind of lost. This place is pretty confusing. Just try and follow the vines, which I'm pretty sure are the better chaos. Uh, it's, it's, it's essentially a tree, and it's. I'm pretty sure these vines are parts of the better chaos. What's even grosser that you're just running along like it's, it's just super gross. It is horrible. Um, I do. I I know this isn't what Dark Souls Two is. Like I know. It's got nothing. I'm pretty sure it's got nothing to do with Lord John in any way, uh, other than the painted world. I was knocking these because one of these is a uh, fake wall. Uh, I was. Uh, it's not any one of here though. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I know Dark Souls 2 hasn't got anything to do with Lord John other than the painted world, uh, which isn't in Lord John. Uh, so I know, but it's pretty. And it's meant to be a prequel because I doubt it's going to be a sequel with the mobile ends that you can have in this game. So it'd be. But I do kind of want to see. Is a lift before it's this, because it's a pretty cool place. If you look up, I will look up. It's a pretty cool looking place. The whole of Lordran is like awesome. I'd love to see it before it was terrible. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like uh, Demon Souls, because Demon Souls each area is no like consistent story. It's just locations, and lots of them aren't decrepit. Like there's the castle that's just kind of a old medieval castle that. I imagine they've always looked decrepit. 
Um, and they're pretty cool locations. Uh, I wish I could play it. I wish I'd play it more. Uh, I have not played enough Demon Souls. I've hardly got into it, so... <clears throat> but that's why I won't be playing Demon Souls after this. I thought about it, but it's just I haven't finished it, so... It would be pointless. It would be super pointless. <gasps> oh, oh my god! <laughs> I was trying to get figure out a way down. Just follow the vines. Just, just a lesson in life. Just follow them. I'm walking through a forest, just follow them. Uh, here, this is a fake wall, and it has the next bonfire. You will be using this bonfire massively, so if you want to kindle it and not the other one I did, it would make sense to kindle this bonfire. Actually, oh wait, no it wouldn't, because you will not get a chance to use Estus Flasks. Uh, in this fight, you will not get a chance to use Estus Flasks. Majority of the attacks are one hit kills, so if you don't want to kindle it, don't. It will make no difference. So, this is the only way into Islith, I'm pretty sure. This is the only vine. Uh, unless that big path thing there, maybe, is. I'm not sure where the... I've never opened up the secret path to Islith. Maybe it's that long path. I've never even gone down that long path because there is another one of those titanite... Not titanite, the demon things. The no-head, lightning rods, wielding demons. Uh, they're down there. I didn't want to fight it last time. I might go back and see what's there. But I don't know. Every one of these, I think there should be something behind it, so I have to hit everyone. Uh, this is a problem as well. Wizard of the Lith is these vines. Uh, you will get stuck a fucking lot. It's like trying to wait, work your way down the um, Great Hollow. There's just you get stuck on so much crap. Um, this is the only time I wish there was actually like a dedicated jump button, because even if just a hop, because it can be a bitch <laughs> to just get over some of them. Uh, I, the first time through, like I do every area, I fight every enemy. I will not be doing that again. I also do not go to every single part of uh, Isolith. There is a very horrible part that takes a long time. I'll show you where it is if you want to do it yourself. I will not be doing it because I hate it with a passion. Um, it's just, it's not good. All these guys suck. I don't even know why I fought them. Because I get to the point... There's a certain point when you get through boss fights where you have to recognise the humanity you keep dropping and dying. You've just got to give up on. You just can't pick it up anymore. I don't learn that uh, for a long time. So, taking in 20,000 souls to a boss fight is just a depressing thing. Because you, where you die, where you, the humanity drops, the last place you died, essentially. So, I know if I run back to that spot, I'm going to die again. So, I just have to go off not. I just give up on your humanity. There's a point where you just go, I'm sorry, 20,000 souls. I have to give up on you now. Um, it's depressing, man. These things. These things are only here and there's like four or five of them. Um, I don't I don't know what they are. I couldn't. They're not hard fight. They try and they have long charge up so you can just run behind them. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just. Um, yeah. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't. I'm still just reeling from there. I don't know what they are. Right, down here is... not. I was thinking, should I go down here? But yeah, I do. Uh, there is, down here is also the way into the rest of Isolith. We wouldn't, it's, it's, a really, it's not a massive area, but it's a bitch area. And I'm just... Oh, this dude was trapped. Poor guy. But it was a ploy! They had me cornered. Uh... It's not a hard area, the place I don't want to go to. Actually, I'm just, it's a really hard area. It's just not a big area. And oh, just, I don't. You fall down a hole. You've got to walk along vines in very small areas. That if you miss jumps and things, you can't get out. And have to run around in circles again and again. I don't like it. So, there. Uh, I think I showed this big bridge here. To the right there. I think maybe that's the shortcut into the Isolith. I'm still not sure. But there is one of those demon things there that I don't want to fight. So I don't go down there. I just, I don't want to fight him. I want to fight the bed of chaos. That isn't even a fight. It's a freaking crappy puzzle-esque. It's not a puzzle. But if you don't know what you're doing, it is a puzzle, I guess. It's a one hit kill boss, essentially. Or oh, three hit kill. <laughs> it's almost... Oh. I keep hinting at things. I'll explain it when we get there. Like that, don't go in there. Unless you want to do more horrible area, don't go in there. Uh, the floor will drop. You'll end up in a pit with horrible things. And you have to walk along vines to get out. Just don't. 
Just don't do it unless you want to, I guess. But I'm not. Up here, I think this is another one of the sisters. Uh, the Witches of Izalith. I'm pretty sure that's another one. She's a complete bitch and does no damage to me, so... And Kirk evaded again! <laughs> yeah, Kirk! He's not good. He really, he really isn't. He's just... He hurt... Wow, okay then. But he's dead, so... Doesn't make a difference. There's Kirk. He invades twice. He's pretty pretty shit. I don't know what he... Oh, I didn't see what he gives me. Get off the screen. I didn't... I don't know what he gave me. He gives you Zank. I think his weapon. Most uh, NPC invasions give you their weapon. Like Mildred Man Eater. She gives you a weapon. Look, it's that thing again. What is it? I don't... I don't know. It's just so creepy. It's, that shouldn't be a thing. It's just a gross, a gross, gross boss. So now we have everything else done that I want to do. New Pyromancy spell, will not use it, but we have it. I was pretty sure there must be a secret thing there because of that path. There ain't, so we've only got the better chaos left. That's pretty cool though. Look, look at that. It's epic. I don't, this is, this is, alright, this boss, if you die, it does not reset. It's the only enemy in the game that if you do damage to it, the damage stays if you die. I think if you even leave, just leave Izalith and just come back hours later, its damage will stay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you something else in a minute, but we'll ignore that for now. Um, its damage stays no matter what. Um, so it's kind of, I think they recognise how bullshit this boss is. Because every attack it does is a one hit kill, essentially. Uh, you can get lucky. But I don't, so you know. It takes three hits. It takes three hits. This is the better chaos. <laughs> the better chaos. No big flashy thing, just a fucking better chaos. Big Cthulhu tree. So, what you need to do is there's two glowing orbs on the side. Uh, you have to run around to either one, smack your way through the branches, and hit one of its purple things. Those swipes it will do are a one hit kill. If you do not have a shield up or you are looking in the wrong direction, it is a one hit kill. <laughs> It's just not cool. And this isn't the card. Well, you just wait and see. These branches weren't breaking. It was pissing me off. <laughs> so, you hear his thing. Then we get a cutscene. Nice, lovely cutscene. Is everything set some fire? <laughs> it's just some stupid bullshit. <sighs> I really... This is this is the witch visitor. This is the real bed of chaos. It's not this stupid Cthulhu tree. It's this thing. Uh, this is what happens to you if you try to create a fire, a bonfire, a, the, the, the original fire. If you try to recreate it, this is what happens. You become, you get fire scythes and just bullshit. Now, its scythe will also kill you in one hit, and the floor starts crumbling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Floor. The floor will start crumbling. So there's only one path you can go, which means, and that path is really freaking close to the bed of chaos, which means it will swipe you, and you have no chance to the thing yet. Second one comes and knocks me into a fucking hole. I equipped the Ring of Revival though, because I had 50,000 souls that I did not want to use, lose, so I equipped the Ring of Revival so I could level up. Still 20,000 souls. These 20,000 souls I'm saying goodbye to, they can go fuck themselves, I'm gonna die a lot, and you know. This, I don't know if it didn't load for me, but I can see the arena from up here. Uh, I'm, I never noticed this before. I don't know if this is always this way, um, but it, re it ruined it. I, it ruined it for me. I was like, "What? I can see it. Oh, this one sucks." And that's all I could notice forevermore. Right, jump down here again. It'll be exactly the same. The floor will still be gone. Actually, no, it won't. Not all the floor will be gone. Some of the floor will still be gone. And you have to run around and do the same things, same thing, same thing to the other side. Yeah, that's the fight. But now it's bullshit. It's even more bullshit because one swipe, oh no, that survived, but the second one coming and oh, I'm dead. Yep, I died. Don't know, don't know why. Well, I don't know why one swipe got me, the other one didn't. This time I ran around here, can't do it, have to go this way. Uh, so, what's gonna happen? Are we all surprised that I'm gonna die again? Are we? Because I'm not. Oh, look, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. No, I slipped into a goddamn hole. It's not even that I die here, it's that I had to run back. That way we came, I have to run back there every time. And I slipped again. 
<laughs> die. She drove me fucking insane. I did not. I've never died this much to this. As you know, I think I have. But look, I turn around because I know it's gonna do it. No, dead. Eagle shield did nothing. I don't know why turning to face it fucking kills you. I'm so confused. I just. <laughs> I don't know. So now. I'm just booking it. We've lost all 20,000 souls. I couldn't kill it. For some reason, I faced forward that time, and it didn't hurt me. I, I honestly could not tell you why. I, I don't know. It fucking confused me to no end. So now, you do this. Smash your way in, and it does not get any better after this. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't get any better. There, okay. Now we freed the bit of chaos. That's a good going, Archie. Fucking well done. Everything I do in this game doesn't seem to improve anyone's lives. <laughs> like, the, how is this helpful for anyone? Why is anyone like, whoa, you've freed the better chaos? Well done. Also, why is it trying to stop me? <laughs> I, I don't know. So now, the next stage, she has all fire powers. This thing, you can actually get this spell, I'm pretty sure. Uh, she fucking kills me. She fucking owns me. <laughs> The next thing you have to do, fire starts appearing in the tunnel. Next thing you have to do, go into its chest. Uh, this is not easy. Because the floor opens up. She will swipe at you, which fucking killed me. <sighs> I fucking hate this. I got lucky the way I actually did this. is She started doing that, the pillars of fire coming out the ground. What meant she didn't do any other attacks. So I was kind of pretty lucky, if you can call this luck. I got pretty lucky. Floor will fall, and you have to land on that. If you, she will swipe at you, she'll do bullshit, you just have to make that. And then, you think, oh cool, I'm in, I've got to just run into the chest now. No, 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 if you do not do this quick enough, she will set this whole middle bit alight and you will die in a hit. So, just roll. Don't swipe, roll like a motherfucker, because if you do not roll in time, you will die. So just roll. And there is a bug in her chest that is a one hit kill that will kill her. That bug is dead. Guess what? We just beat the better chaos. Killing that! <laughs> that was the better chaos. It's a one hit fucking kill. That's it. Aren't we happy? I hate the fucking boss. I'm just getting angry remembering it. It's so bullshit. There's nothing fair in that boss fight. And I just rambled over the top of it, what makes it hung on better. So now, we're going to skip ahead, you do not want to see me warp around. But we're going to come here, and we're going to put in the final Lord Soul. And open up the way to Gwen. Fuck. Uh, this, this isn't good. This is... This is... <sighs> it's me saying this, like, the fact that I've already played this, and know what's going to happen exactly next, and even recorded what's going to happen next. Is that a sign that I might not win straight away against Gwen? It might, it might be a thing. But this looked pretty fucking cool. Final one's in. It finally feels a bit like lived up to my expectations of putting the souls in. Because we get this. Ah! But yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've been Archie, this has been Dark Souls. And next time we're going to fight Gwen and finish this fucking game. It's going to be kind of sad and emotional. Thanks for watching. Bye.